This is another project video in which we will explain a little bit more what we did on that particular project. In this case it's our cherry spice rack in the kitchen. I like this project in particular very much as we usually build very large and rough structures and this is a more of a delicate project. We started by cutting open the cherry. As this were part of our old stack which had some worm and fungal infections, I cut them into stripes to later on make boards out of them. This gives you the opportunity to sort through the stripes and also reveals a different pattern when you glue the stripes into a board later on. After cutting the stripes I planed the edges to have clear gluing edges. At this point I might say this is not a training video, I know that I might mishandle here and there the security protocols on those machines. After cleaning the edges with the machine planer and off camera with the hand planer, I'm now trying to figure out if I have enough wood for all the pieces that I need to glue up. In this process I'm sorting through the stack and try to get rid of all infested pieces. Also at this point I'm looking for matching patterns on the wood and the color grading so that the stripes would match up later on on the boards. And then the gluing process can start. Off camera I cleaned away the leftovers of the glue which was ending up on the faces. After this I started planing them and thicknessing them to the right dimensions. And the next step I cut the boards into the approximated length that we need for all the pieces. And we were finally ready to start the handcrafted joinery. Here cut a knee joint me to start laying out the dovetails and getting all the edges chamfered. There are dovetails nearly around all edges, so Hinini hammered away most of the day getting them done. Not everything was done by hand, as we have this quite lovely bandsaw to help us out. As I was finishing up our seedling station, Nini and Kata finished up all the joinery. I joined our forces into a quite heavily working session late into that night. There was a little design fault on my side which drove everyone mad of us. You can see how happy Nini was nailing the first of those joineries, which didn't break off as all the others broke. Fortunately for us, we could fix it with glue and nothing was seen in the end result of it. We ended up once again with quite a 3D puzzle. As you see, the final piece is here, sanded, before we go to the next stage. Now it's time to give them a final sanding session and assembling the first parts of it. 
After assembling them off camera, I sanded the sides down of them as well as there was some leftover glue and started the finishing process of the surfaces. Here you can see all the major components glued up and test fitted together after sending all the surfaces. Now to the most satisfying part of building those furnitures, which is finishing up the surface with some oil. This is going to show you the pattern of the wood and of the joinery. I taped off some parts which will be glued later on so you see some of the masking tape on a couple of surfaces. Some last shots before I start the final glue up of the rack. This is just one of the examples why you can't have enough screw clamps in your workshop. Although you have heard and seen a lot of me in this video, this was a group effort. Most of the time that was done on this project was spending making the joinery as you not just have to make them, but also fit them together, which takes a lot of time and also position and <laughs> a lot of nerves. And now some final pictures of the end result. I hope you liked this project video, thanks for watching and see you in the next update video.